Okay, so I want to show you how you can use StatCrunch to work with some of these problems involving the normal distribution. On this problem here in the homework, we have assume the random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 50, standard deviation of 7. Compute the probability. And the first one's just a draw, but we'll go ahead and see if StatCrunch can help us out there. So I'm going to go over to statcrunch.com, log in with your same um, username and password that you get log in to my math lab. Go to open StatCrunch. And we're going to have to do some statistics. So we're going to go to stats. It's a calculator. It says this is normally distributed, so we're going to go to normal. Okay, and so we already get a nice little curve that pops up. Now let's remi remind you what it was. The mean was 50. And the standard deviation, I think, was 7. Let me flip back there real quick. Standard deviation is 7, and we're trying to find the probability that it's greater than 43. Standard deviation is 7. The probability that it is greater than 43. Now, one little side note. There's no probability at individual values. So greater than 43 is going to be exactly the same as greater than or equal to 43. So don't let that throw you. And this is what we don't know. So if we can, we have four, actually five, you count the inequality, five things to put in. If we know four of these, or three of these, uh, we can figure out the fourth one. We'll put compute, and we'll get 0.8413. So if we come back over here, it's really clear which one it is. Now, hopefully this one was, was pretty easy. We can mark that one. And then when you actually, it says round to four decimal places. So again, let's come back over here. We have 0.8413, so we're just going to put 0.8413, and we got it. Now it'll also do in between, so let's do another one here. So here we're looking for in between two values, x is greater than 34 and also less than 63. So you have the same mean standard deviation, that's nice, same mean standard deviation. This time we're looking for in between, so we're going to click this between. Okay, and it was 34 and 63. Compute gives us a nice shading, and we have 0 0.9572. So we pick, obviously, this one was the one, and then put that value there 0 0.95, was it 72? 72. And we're looking good. I want to show you one more. We can also do the inverse norm. Now remember, these can all be done on the TI-8384 calculator using the norm CDF. Can you handouts on that and um, lots of that in the video lecture. But I wanted to show you how you can use StatCrunch. And in many ways, StatCrunch is a little bit easier because it's very visual in how you put stuff in. And the syntax is much easier. You can just fill in the, the blanks where it tells you to put it in. Here, I want to show you how you can do the inverse norm. Um, on the stat crunch. And we often will see this with percentiles. So again, we have a mean of 56, standard deviation of 7. Find the sixth percentile. So let's come back over here. We have a mean, actually, we're doing standard. So a mean of 56, I think that was it. Standard deviation is 7, still 7. And this is what we don't know, so I'm going to leave that blank. Just to leave, leave that one blank. But we do know this. Now remember what the area is for the 6th percentile. We're looking for this value here. And we're going to put in 0.06. And so the 6th percentile, with, with these values, remember 6th percentile means we did better than 6% of the population would be 45.12, um, I forget what it says to round, two decimal places. So 45.12, is that right? Yes. So another way to do it was on the TI-8384 using the inverse norm function, very similarly. So I hope that helps.